what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today uh well tomorrow is patch day basically what's happening in a nutshell is they're gonna be changing the whole <clears throat> conquest or siege war system which is pretty cool uh stuff they shouldn't have really added in the beginning but it's all good and it's all changing I don't siege, so it's not really affecting me. But for the rest of us, things we get, I think it's like a third week of uh, summer events. I'm not really too sure about the details on it. But um, that's happening. What we are going to do today is get these rift bosses done before the maintenance happens. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Um, so let me see. Where do we have today? We have Muskin, Ruins Guard Tower, and Dim Tree Spirit. So luckily they're all on one side, which is nice. Alright, so let's see. Which one do we want to do first? We'll go Muskin first. But yeah, so in the last episode... We got our Tet Distortion Earring, and that was basically all our money. So we're broke again, and what I wanted to do is basically just see how much silver, or how long it would take me to collect another 18 billion, so I can get another Distortion Earring. Hopefully by the time I collect that much money, something will happen, and prices will drop but really unsure. I don't think we should be going through Glish. Oh, what the? Dude, that is such a narrow way out. What the heck? Huh. I feel like I should park my horse out here. Have you guys been doing the Termian event? I actually got the two uh, two items that cost 30 coins. And those are pretty cool, I think. Well, one is an old item, the Lorraine like bikini box or whatever for that. And then the wave house furnishing item. I wish uh, CCs and stiffens were counted as like the same thing. Like that would be two floats and all that stuff all counted as CC. right here is a perfect example of why CCs shouldn't last so long. Just syrup next worth. Honestly, I think I value the stack a whole lot more than the syrup neck, no matter like at what level. Mount is being damaged by what? I parked it here for a reason. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, we should probably do the Termian Park again. I really wish they would revamp the whole Termian Park events, because I get it. We get new players every year, and some people might not be able to experience it, but for veteran players or just people who've been playing a long time, it's literally have been the same quest three years in a row. So I think that's like something I would like to have seen changed. Garmoth night. What time? Uh, 58 minutes. I should probably go grind Garmoth at some point, or go to, down to Garmoth and keep my character there so I can grind Blood Wolves. I do want to get the infinite HP pot eventually. I could just get a Garmoth heart. I think, I don't know, if I ever got another one, I'd probably hold on to it. Just because I heard there was something where you could put your Garmoth heart and whatever into your dandy. That's not even out yet, but I heard that was like a rumor or something. So I don't know. Also worse than Kron's Dones. Dim tree. I heard they're also uh, revamping like certain grind spots tomorrow, and that's pretty nice. Um, other stuff is, I think, field bosses. So that's like dim tree, red nose, those kind of things that aren't like, world bosses. It's hard to explain. Basically, um, the stuff that only spawns on certain channels compared to like Zarka, Karanda, Kuda, Maneuver, all those things that spawn on every channel and have a shared health, the field bosses are only on certain channels and 
they I don't think ever get killed. So they're adding like new loot to it to make it more worth, I guess. So we shall see if that was a good choice and like will people actually do it now? really come out of its way to chase my Oh my goodness, dude, I actually got some of the worst things I could... I would have actually been happier with crown stones. Um, okay, so let me go park my character. Let's go to, um... Garmoth, because that's in an hour. Let me park my character there, and then we'll go on our other character, and maybe do a Hakobin run or something. I think um, by the time I get enough money to buy a second Disto, I need to prepare myself because once I get another Distortioneering, I'm about to lose 8 DP and that's like actually quite a bit. So uh, I'm going to need to prepare myself for that. So how are we going to get another 8 DP? Capris 9 in our Lieber and Muskin. That'll give me another 8, I think. So 6, 7, and 8. Or, no, yeah, hold on. 7, 8 is 2. And then 8 to 9 is another 2. So it's 4. So I need to get these to 9. And then that's 8. And then... This one's already at Capris 10, because I was waiting for Dead God for like a, an entire month, or not month, like six months. And it never came out, so I feel like it got debated into Caprising my tree armor early. But, I mean, I guess it's done. So that one's at level 10 right now. And then the Heave Helm is at 11, which isn't too hard. I could get it to uh, probably like... 
I don't know. I can get that to like cap was 19. And so I think that's another four DP. So I could get another like 12-ish. If I were to get Capris in the armor, so I'd be at 360 something. Yeah, like around like 360 DP once I get another Tet Distortion. Which honestly does not like. 360 seems like a lot, but it really isn't in high end PvP. It's still getting deleted. I fought some of my guildies who are like 430 DP witches and wizards and I could I could kill them it's just it's not exactly the easiest So another thing they should change is uh, the whole, you know, in Red Battlefield, the whole thing where if you go below 50% health or like 20%, you get some like s extra health reduction or damage reduction. That is actually like a bad way to do a fix. Instead, I don't know. Like, I just don't think that's a good way to fix it. Oh, something sold. That's probably my Seraph neck. We're almost at a billion silver. Um, what are we doing now? Let us go do like a hawk of in run or two, or not two, just a hawk of in run. And um, probably won't have enough time to do Margoria. It's either one or the other. Hawkman is probably quicker. I think I actually timed in. It took me about like 20 minutes to get to from Ilya to Hakovin and back. Um, fabric, rock, octagon, and herb. Hmm. Do I need anything on the way? Do I need any dragons or caterpillar? I might need some dragon. What did it want? I'm dude, I'm stupid. Four oranges. Yeah, we actually got our first uh, blue carrot here, 
and we got a cannon and it may like when i actually think about how much money i spent on like how much it, silver i could have made um making my blue cannon i think it probably estimates about so i think i sp i did a grinding plus c coins instead so let me just show you what it would be i wrote it down so basically for a hundred of these you need three items and then it costs thirty-five thousand coins to get a hundred of them or twenty-five thousand plus grinding and these are mandatory so at minimum you're using fifty thousand coins plus uh, grinding a little bit and um so i would estimate ten thousand coins to be about 800 million silver so times five that's four billion then you have to buy the material or not the material you have to buy like the like, i don't know what it's called hold on let me get this part real quick So, oh yeah, the upgrade permit. That one is straight up a billion silver from uh, the dude in Port Feria. So, five billion silver straight up. And then all the time and materials invested, or, well, not materials, but the time invested to getting all those as well. Um, if I were to calculate all the CP I needed to like get every every node... I think I would estimate one blue base piece at about like 10 billion silver. That's just how much I would estimate it, but in terms of like just raw silver, you're gonna spend probably about 5 billion worth. So, yeah, this is really the only one I wanted because, um,. The cannon reload speed minus two seconds is extremely important. It may only sound like two seconds, but I don't know. It's, I, I find it very valuable, especially if you have a Valor. Well, the Valor is the only way you get minus two seconds. I think uh, Volanti is minus one second, and Balance and Advance just don't get it. So this is why we wanted the Valor. If it makes doing dailies easier... That's great. But yeah, getting this to plus 10 is going to be a nightmare. My guildie sent me like a fail stack chart. People who like already have plus 10, like Karandis has a plus 10. Then we have some other guildies who have theirs like on the way to plus 10 or at plus 10 already. So they're just like, yeah, uh, from like plus 9 or plus 8 to 10, you use like 100 stacks. I'm just like, oh, that's a lot of money actually. <laughs> these today honestly if you guys still kept yours i think the best thing to get is save it for like the 120 and everything from 120 is probably good um as of right now assuming you play every day we should have 50 so honestly the best thing to get is probably either a mono accessory or a Try Tungrad belt.
while we're doing that, did anything change? I don't think people are dumb enough to get Jeranoa pieces, but uh, you never know. Today was actually a pretty good day. We got both brilliants. I don't actually go for these anymore, but I feel like I should start collecting them again. Like, brilliance. In case I ever want to make a second Carrick. Which I really don't, <laughs> gonna be honest. But, uh, if I ever did want to. I actually uh, parked one of my sailboats down at Port of Area just so I could get some tier 1 materials if I ever needed them. But again, it is a sailboat, so like I don't even know how much weight that has. I'd have to upgrade it. I'd have to improve it to improved sailboat, and then I think you turn it into a caravel. And I don't actually know after that, which one do most people get? The advanced or balanced? I think if I were up to me, since I already have a Valor, the next one, like, the choice I would get is the one that had more weight. Which, advanced, I think? I'm not 100% sure what it's called. So that's a thing, and um, I don't know. I just I hate going to Portaferia and just down bartering in this area so much in general, to the point where I, I'm just gonna use my second boat <laughs> and put it there. Actually, after that, and maybe in another video, let's go check and see like what materials I would need to actually upgrade my. I think my Musa is in Port Fairy. Yeah, it is. Okay, we're good. But there is, if there's anything that I've learned from my guildies and things that I could probably tell you if you're on your way to getting your Carrick is um, get some of these nodes early, the ones that give uh, Starlight Powder. Hold on. I'm in a bad spot. I gotta actually pay attention so I don't crash into a rock. Once I'm in a straight, I could maneuver easily. This one area, like sometimes you get stuck on the rocks. Does this expire tomorrow? This expires tomorrow. What even do I want to use it function? We're getting the new class in uh, September. I don't even have enough pearls for anything, to be honest. Okay, so anyway. Things or tips I could give you if you're working on your Carrick and just to prep in advance are get these nodes right here it's gonna be about 22 CP which is a lot actually but what they are is a node these all take one plus three for the excavation they give you blueprints and starlight powder the reason why you want starlight powder is because it is used for blue carrot gear um, so I don't really know how much I get a day, but like this is what you get the starlight powder and you need This thingy. Oh, yeah, so this thingy To make the blackstone to sunset. It's for blue gear. You need one of these. It's about 500 coins 
and then it takes between the 6 to 12 hours depending on how good your node is. So I'm thinking about getting more workers and then swapping like some of these nodes out so I could connect it to Ilia Island, like all these nodes connected to Ilia Island instead of uh, Velia. But I mean, I don't really know if that saves any CP, probably like two. To the point where I don't even know it's worth it. Probably not. Just keep it the way it is. But, and then you also need the 10 blueprints, which... Honestly, like, once you get 10, these are kind of irrelevant. Unless, for some reason, you want to collect all four characters for some reason. Which, I don't think anyone... Maybe a few people have all the characters just to have it, but... Gonna be honest with you, if you have uh, more than one character, you just really enjoy sailing. Thirty minutes till Garmoth. I'm so glad I'm done with this one. This is actually, like, it's it's a really good quest or event because it gives you a pen uh, Kaposha earring, which is basically a Tet Narc earring. And it is good. The only thing is you have to get the... So basically, here's how it works. You turn this thingy, the Termian Spirit, into some NPC dude at Determined Beach, and they give you one of three quests to kill a thousand, like, Rudums, Abandoned Iron Mine things, or Nagas. Um, you kill a thousand, you get an earring, and then you use these stones to enhance the earring from base to pen. And if you get it to try, then you can turn it into a Tet or a pen Kaposha earring. And that's it. That's the, year. that's the quest. So luckily for me, I got this quest done on the second day, and I really just vendor these things for 500 or 800k total a day, which is not a lot of money, but it means not having to do the quest. So I'm really happy I got it on day two. Uh, last year they did the same thing, but it was like a better quest and it gave you an actual accessory like a tri crescent ring um, it also gave you a tri ogre and I think a tri bassy belt if I remember correctly this one but yeah that was basically the invent and I think there might be something tomorrow I don't know but we'll find out then so I'm pretty sure you guys don't actually want to watch me ride back um, that's gonna be it for today thanks so much for watching again join the discord somewhere over there on the screen um, if you have any questions, BDO or anything else, and or just in general, you want to join the server, you can hang out with me. Then that would be awesome. Yeah, so I think that's it. We're going to do Garmoth in 30 minutes, and that's probably going to be it for me tonight. So, see you guys later.